Study abroad gives you the opportunity to take courses in another country. It's exposure to different cultures, languages. With different backgrounds. That takes me out of my comfort zone and allows me to just find new things about myself and what I'm capable of doing. The study abroad program allows students to take short-term classes during the summer and winter and long-term classes during the semester or for the academic year. I would describe it as stimulating. Inspiring. Every day was different. I studied abroad in South Korea. I studied abroad three times. This summer I went to Costa Rica and last summer I went to Spain. The best part was getting lost. People knew that I was from a different culture, a different country, but still welcomed me with open arms like I was one of their own. I stayed in a local's home. Um, we called her Mama Tika and she cooked two meals a day for us. The food was amazing. The professor that I had over there was so Cool. Monday through Wednesday, we would go over something on the syllabus, a particular curriculum, and then Thursday or Friday, they would take us out into the community to utilize what we learned for the week. Being in Europe, um, you can take the train or the bus to other places once you have your passport. Don't forget your passport. I took a weekend and I went to Paris. Two-week backpacking trip through Italy. Croatia, then into Montenegro, out into Bosnia. We went to the PANI, which was the social service for children, and it was a tour and I was also supposed to translate. We had to do an hour bike ride to get to this museum, so it was a lot of fun, but I also fell behind and I ended up meeting a lot of people. Then we ended up exploring the, the museum together as a group. For me, I was able to strengthen my language skills. I learned Portuguese. I had to live on my own. I had to buy my own food, my own um, transportation. Now I'm actually ready to go to another country by myself. I kind of don't want to go with a group of friends. I, I feel more independent. I am interested in development work and NGO work and hopefully working at the UN someday. So I think all this will really help to build up to that. It's led me to, uh, to pursue what I'm interested in now, which is educational reform and restructuring. It shows future employers that I'm well adaptable, that I'm flexible. If you want to study abroad, Go and study abroad, don't wait for your friends or someone to like let you do it. Start planning early. Do as much research as possible. Don't be afraid to contact people and ask questions. Go there open to meet new people, make a lot of friends, and just enjoy the experience while you're there. Do something that challenges uh, your fundamental beliefs. Even if it's something that's unfamiliar, even if it's new, even if it's something that you've said no to in the past, try to say yes. Outline if you want to see other places maybe when your program ends because there's always cheaper ways that you can travel and see other cities as well. If you're going to Europe, do not pack heavy. Start saving immediately, apply for all the scholarships early. Over 90% of students receive at least partial funding, so there's a number of scholarships available within each department and in, to general students. I was fortunate enough to receive the President's Scholarship from the Study Abroad Office in CCNY. I received a grant from the English department. I got um, funding from the Western Scholarship. I also did a GoFundMe page. It's a very easy way to do it rather than if you went to go and plan a trip alone by yourself. So if you're thinking about studying abroad, please stop by our office for more information. I would definitely recommend studying abroad to other students.